Is that? Hang on a minute. That's so. These are racing pigeons. Does that mean they are homing pigeons as well, or is that something completely different? I'm not a pigeon person. No. No. I want no clue, mate. No, I haven't got a clue either. The Talk Sport Clips of the Week. Clips of the week time then, and Andy, would you care to kick us off? I'd love to, and we start with some football news from Ben Fletcher. Declan Rice says he's bursting with pride to have been called up to Gareth Southgate's latest England squad, describing the feeling as indescribable. Hang on, how does that work? <laughs> <I have> no idea. <laughs> Here is uh, Ian Holloway discussing Southampton. <laughs> yeah, he's had a, a fantastic few months, isn't he? He was not wanted, he was not having a good season, and, and in come... Uh, Hassle Hoover, and, and before you know it, wow. You've got a Hassle Hoover. I have, it replaced you? my Dyson. Cordless and bagless. <laughs> it's tremendous. They're marvellous, aren't they? I've been very impressed with my um, Hassle Hoover. And what's next, Andy? Well, how do you think Mike Parry celebrated St. Patrick's Day? Mm, I wonder. Well, the summer's gone and all the flowers dying. Tis you, tis you. You, mu sorry, you must go and I must buy she the must come ye back when summer's in the meadow. I won't sing the whole thing. Yeah, poor old Danny yeah. Kelly, a proud Irishman, <laughs> sitting there listening to this. I think he knows the that words. That was the best Mike. bit about it when he said, yeah. I won't sing the whole thing. Yeah, I won't sing uh, the whole thing. Uh, well, it doesn't, it doesn't normally stop him, no. does it, really? No. Uh, uh, so, here's the moose, and we feel a catchphrase coming on. Hmm. Any sign of a change on the touchline? Here's the moose. Ooh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not really. Yeah, do you think that could catch on? Ooh, not really. <laughs> oh, not really. Yeah, the moose. Uh, so he'll be known now as Ian. Oh, not really Abraham's, won't he? I think it. that's a good one. Uh, Fisherman's Blues now, and Nigel had a thank you for a listener. Thanks to my texter from Norway, you make my morning. Sorry, I haven't got time to read it out. <laughs> yeah, you could have read it by now, couldn't you? <laughs> you could have done really, yeah. Really, you could have just read it. <laughs> yeah. And then thanked him afterwards. Yeah, probably, yeah. Uh, here is uh, our old mate Uri Geller on breakfast. Well, let me, let me tell you this. I can't walk in the streets of Japan because I'm, you know, I, I don't want to sound like I'm bragging or showing off, but I'm extremely famous in Japan. Yeah, it sounds like you're bragging or showing off a little <laughs> bit, you are, Uri. Would you, would you not say that, Andy? <laughs> it sounds yes. a bit like that, <laughs> yeah, it yeah, does, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Of course, our favourite uh, mm. talk sport moment with Uri is when he called himself an old Jaffa. <laughs> we are joined, joined now by the infamous spoonbender, Yuri Geller. Good morning, Yuri. How are you this morning? Hey, good morning to you all the way from Israel. I mean, old Jaffa. I'm an old Jaffa. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up. He says, I'm in old Jaffa. Just all of us at some stage. <laughs> I'm in old Jaffa, yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah, of course, yeah. in Tel Aviv, isn't it? I've realised what he means now. He said he was an old Jaffa. <laughs> so, uh, oh, what's yeah. next, Andy? I got excited. Yeah. yeah. Here, the talk sport corner of the week to Jim White. That's Jim White. Jim White, yeah. Dean, you're a Manchester United fan. Where do you stand on that? Good morning, Mr. Smith. Talk Sport, Caller of the Week. Thinks he's speaking to Jim Smith, the former <laughs> Newcastle and Portsmouth uh, boss. So, uh, back to uh, Ian Holloway. This time alongside Nigel Adderley at Swansea versus Manchester City. And maybe Ollie didn't share Nigel's sense of gravitas in the moment. Yeah, we have a pitch invader at the moment. And we've had too many of those recently. Andre Mariner is just... Oh, take right. that! <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I, I take it the bloke was brought down by a steward, or it was a member of Take That. <laughs> yeah, who knows? I've got, we'll never know, will we? <laughs> Back to Fisherman's Blues now, and why is it all fishing terminology sounds like it's come straight from a carry-on film? Yeah, good question. For me, there's so much to squeeze in between now and June the 16th, with still water carp and tench to go for, plus a couple of sea fishing trips and a bit of fluff chucking, which I always look forward to. I think we all do, don't we? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't look forward to a bit of fluff chucking. <laughs> Absolutely. And... If that wasn't bad enough... And I remember the tip I often think I ought to give our listeners, and you probably know it, and that is if you make yourself a cup of tea, put the tea bags in your butt ring. For goodness sake. <laughs> the terminology in fishing. Uh, did you like that one, Moose? Ooh, not really. Oh, not really. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Andy, what's yes, next? Yes, now you're probably wondering, where's Alan Brazil? Well, better late than never. Here he is on Scotland's embarrassing defeat. I'm looking at the players saying, how do you lose 3-0 to a team like that with the greatest respect? I don't want to be disrespectful to Kazakhstan. I don't even know what it is. 
fairly disrespectful. That sounds quite disrespectful. <laughs> you know, don't want to be disrespectful. Who are you? Where are you? I've never heard of you. Don't want to be disrespectful. No, and finally, hmm. uh, it's Adrian Durham discussing England's current crop of young talent. What we should do is treasure these players, not push them too far, too soon, or too hard. And Andy, as yeah. always, yes, it, it did remind us of something, did. didn't it? Yeah. Too hard. Too far. Too soon. Nice. Nice. Beautiful uh, version, uh, Adrian, there, of Hole of the Moon. Thank you to everybody who suggested clips that were played. Zoggy the Gooner, Kenny, Alan Jenkins, Tim Bailey, Ruthless, Rene Sourceman, uh, Hertz Van Rental. That's not a come on, that's an old one. <laughs> Martin, Ryan Cargill, JD, Davis Harris, Josh, and Martin's uh, Martin's Fold. <laughs> it can't be a real name. Goodness me. <laughs> anyway, if you hear a clip on TalkSport over the next seven days... It's something rude, it feels like it might be. Um, <laughs> please send it in to us. <laughs> uh, TalkSport.com forward slash H&J. Oh, Roger, text Roger from Durham. Didn't oh, yeah, yeah. Roger. Uh, text 81089, tweet TSH&J. It's football, it's emotion, it's, it's passion. So you're right, Nat. There's enticing the crowd, but there's, oh, you've got to celebrate a goal. Yeah. Like, uh, 